Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn Selenium interview question. How to get row and column count in web table using Selenium Java. So this is one of the uh, interview question. Let's go over here in this website, right? So we have a table. This is one of the web table. So this table contains the uh, data that evolves over time, which means their number of rows and columns may vary as the data changes because of this fluctuating content. So they are referred to as dynamic web table, okay? So let us understand how to handling this web table in Selenium. First thing is, you know, you need to understand the table structure in HTML. So for that, you can go over here, inspect this element. See, here you have a different tag is there, right? So now let's go and identify this. See now, it's going to start from the table. So this is what your table. Here we have a different tag is there. Table is HTML tag that is used to define a web table. So, and we have a the head, head is there, that is a header. Within the header, we have a row and a header is there, right? Then we have a, if you come to the body, right? The table body. See, here we have a row is there. And within the row, we have a column is there. I'll show you in our uh, separate seat. See, this is what your table structure. Okay, so the first one is a, a table that is HTML tag that is used for define a web table. Then we have our TH is there and TH is a table header. Okay, TH is used to defining the header of the table. Then we have a TR and TD is there. TR and TD tags are used to defining a rows and column for the web table. So this is the structure of the table. Okay, understand the hierarchy first because we are going to write our X path to find the row and column. Okay, so if you know the hierarchy, it will be easy to understand. You can write easily uh, a row and column expert. Okay, so now let's go over here. First, we need to launch your browser. So I'm going to use the Chrome, Chrome driver, driver equal to new Chrome driver. So this is one of the class. We are creating an instance of the class. So you can import the packages for the Chrome driver class. This is coming from the Selenium. So now you can, you can maximize the window, uh, manage dot window dot maximize. So once you are maximized the window, then we need to navigate to the URL. So driver dot get URL. So you can get the URL. Let's go over here. I'll just copy the URL and paste it over here. So now navigate to the URL. Once you are coming into that, then we need to identify the uh, table and from here we need to identify the row and column. Okay, so for that what we can do uh, here we just first go to the table. See this is the table. Here we have a class is there. Let's go and take an export. So you just copy, you just click on a control F, right? So here you will be getting a text uh, field. So you can paste this uh, export what you have copied. See it is I know highlighted the table. So now with this table XPath, you can't able to get the row and column. So from that, what you have to do, you need to come to the, from the table, you want the row and column, right? So you just come to, come down to T body. That is a body. Within the body, see we have a row is there and column is there. So if you go to slash TR, that is a row. See now, how many rows are there? 1893. Right, I just copy this X part. This is for, uh, you know, finding the row count. So finding the row, row count, so you can say driver dot find elements. See, find elements, you need to go, you should not go with the find element because find element, if you want to identify the one element, you can go with the find element. But we are going to identify the number of rows, right? So you have to use the find elements. Find elements by dot, we have a export, right? So you can paste the export here. So now this find elements always return you the list of web elements. So you can store it in a list of web element. Give any variable name. Okay, you can uh, import the util package for the list. So now we need to, we can print the total number of rows. You can print total number of rows plus so rows dot here we need to call one of the method called size. 
So rows dot size will going to return you the total number of rows in the web table. Okay. So now let's run this. We'll see. It is returning a total number of rows 1893. So it is returning a total number of rows as observed in the console. So in console also it is showing like 1893, right? See here. So the same thing it is returning with our code also. So row count we are getting now. Now we need to get the column count. So for column count what we have to do? Let's go to here. From the TR, right? So you need to come to the first row. First row, if you come, then you will be getting all the columns, right? So first row means you need to pass the index here. So you can say row index. So it is highlighting the first row, right? Now within the row, see here, you can see this hierarchy in the HTML page. So within the row, we have a, so many columns are there, right? So now I'm go to slash td. How many columns are there? Here it is showing a six. So you can copy this x bar. Driver dot find elements. Here also find elements. Okay. By dot x path. We can pass the x path. So this is also it's going to return you the list of web elements. So you can store list of web elements. Column equal to so now the same thing, you can print the total column count. Plus column dot size. So this will go into tell you the total number of columns. So let's uh, run this. total number of rows 1893 total number of columns 6 okay it's written in the total number of rows and columns hope this is clear so next video we are going to learn how to get that table header value in selenium Java. so thanks for watching guys see you in the next video